man. Man, you guys got me feeling some kind of way today, man. How are you guys feeling? Like, I, I kinda, I'm kind of feeling kind of like, kind of, I feel like maybe reading you guys a love poem. Is that? Like, is that cool? Can, do it, yeah. Can I, can I, oh, my, well, <laughs> she said do it, so I like, okay. Uh, so is it okay if I read you guys like a really nerdy love poem? Is that, is that cool? Cool. All right, what's, what's, what's your name? Madison. Madison, Madison um, okay, you know what? I think uh, you and I uh, should plan a bank robbery. Oh, so that was that easy? Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> no, how about, I got it, I got better than that, uh, a diamond heist, complete with ski masks, Italian pistols, and duffel bags. You, go for the safe. Yeah, I'll handle crowd control. And right before I hit the timer to time exactly how long it takes before SWAT arrives, I'll chicken out. Because I can't run the risk of losing you. There is a, oh, ooh, oh my goodness, oh my, oh, here we go. Okay, uh, there is a giant headed for our village in want of sacrifice. And the townspeople have elected me because our commitment to one another is the most significant thing this city has to offer. You have the kind of face that could give a newborn baby her first smile. Yeah, there it is, oh, 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 Lauren, okay. Uh, I love you uh, because you treat me like the way that Renoir treated the color blue. I love, ooh, I love you. Okay, this is working. All right, cool. Uh, I love you because you treat me like, like Bach treated D minor. I love you because you treat me like Christ to a criminal. I am an empty page awaiting your every memory, and I would wear your pain like tattoos to show the world that I am not ashamed to know your secrets. Oh, I love you. Yeah, okay, here we go. I love you because you treat me like the way that Steve Jobs treated pixels. Yeah, uh, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, we could, science, right? Because science, yeah. Um, I love uh, you because you treat me like the way that Barishnikov treated the hardwood. I love you because you treat me like the way the moon treats poets. Yeah, I love you because you make me laugh. Yep, remember when you asked me if we can name our firstborn daughter in all silent letters? Yeah, oh, you got it. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. Or when you ask me, do caterpillars have dreams of flight? And do butterflies have nightmares of wingless crawling? Oh, let's be cat burglars. You know I always wanted the Mona Lisa. We can contort our bodies through laser beams, replace her with a replica, then escape out the air conditioning system. Let's be Bonnie and Clyde, Mickey and Mallory, Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv. Can we do that? Is that cool? Yeah? All right, cool. Where? Where? Uh, the truth is, is that I'm scared to death of losing you. Like, all it'll take is some young man to discover a new constellation and to name it after you before you walk out on me forever. Like, all it'll take is some young man to go off to war and to write your name every day under threat of death before we walk out on each other together. Like, all it'll take is some young man to be more earnest and polished than I before you walk out on me forever. Oh, Madison, I love you because you treat me like the way the clouds treated Pegasus. I love you because you treat me like the way the night treats a lotus. I love you because you treat me like the way my pen is treating you right now. Oh, so let's be marauders. Let's, let's pillage some ancient Mayan temple and turn back the clocks. Let's you and I go steal color from rainbows. Let's make the man on the moon double check his back pocket for his wallet. We need a magnificent caper. We need like Jerry Bruckheimer to script our lives. Can I take you somewhere? Can I carve your name in a baobab tree underneath the Serengeti dust right before we travel down the Nile and search for some ancient Egyptian tomb? Yeah, yeah, you guys can, yeah. And if the magnificent scares you then, well, can I just hold your hand in public? Oh, ooh, oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> I promise I won't chicken out this time, and I want to show you that I'm willing to do anything to change. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Man, love, man. Love, man. Love. 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 Right. It's like love. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? Oh, my God. You guys are playing. Wow. Uh, what is happening here? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys are so amazing. 
Thank you so much. I, uh, I, and honestly, uh, in preparing for this, uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've been so nervous and excited. Uh, it's, it's been a, a pretty uh, wonderful ride, and I'm so glad uh, that I get to share it with you. Um, and, and without any, uh, any further hesitation, I'd like to invite uh, someone up uh, to the stage right now. This young woman is a junior in high school, and she's got a 4.2 GPA. Yeah, I know, right? Takes all AP classes, yeah? And she hasn't even been in this country that long. And she is a testament to what we can be when we believe in each other instead of building walls for each other, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So if we can get the lights to kind of dim down here uh, on the stage. Thank you. All right. And if I could please have a warm round of applause for an incredible young woman, Miss Yokobed Ogabai, please. <laughs> Welcome to the stage. I am joy, the color from every stroke, the beauty within a book, a survivor of what they took. I, I am human. human, I am love, I am Ari Tran. I, I still live. live. I am the proud son of a single mother. But she worked so hard that you couldn't tell. It's like we had two loving parents in the house. We never missed a hot meal. She kept a roof over our head and our feet on solid ground. Hallelujah, Hallelujah mother. She is the daughter of Colorado State University's first black athletes. He yeah. <laughs> this is true. This is true. He is also a real Tuskegee Airman. Wings on his back. Like, like he, he walked, walked off, off a page in African American, American history. history. And this man taught me the true value in manhood. Live by your word, die by idleness. Always, Always work, work to, to be, be the best, best at everything, everything and fail in nothing, grandfather. Now he was married to a civil rights activist, grandmother, once arrested for refusing to remove herself and her children from a train platform in 1954. She, she is Rosa, Rosa Parks, Parks before, before Montgomery. Montgomery. She used to ask us, baby, did I ever tell you about the time I became a fugitive from injustice? Mm -hmm. She can't return to Arkansas, but became an elected official in Colorado. Mosley now. She is the daughter of the South. Little Rock in her heart. Stories from Jim Crow. Bitterness in her memory. Sweetened only by good company. Brothers, Brothers and, and sisters. sisters. Well, they've long since gone now. They've already earned their wings. Leon and Willa May. I could see them. I could see them dancing with the ancestors. Oh, they say that our roots are Nigerian. Yoruba Fulani. I, I hear, hear them calling. calling. I, I am them. them. They, they are, are we. we. Together, our fights will not be in jest. We are the graffiti on the walls they build to keep us out. We are the voices they drown with background noise. We are the keepers of the kingdom. The wheels only turn because our backs carry the toe. The spirit of our legacy lives on. They, they still live. live. The fruits of our family tree will only grow if the roots are strong. 
I still live. I can hear them. I can hear them calling to me. We still live. There is no fence too high for us to climb. There is no whip to leave lashes. There is no foul word uttered in ignorance that will keep us from returning home. We, we still live. live. Let them build their walls. We will build our ladders with justice. We, we still live. live. They will not shackle us and send us south. We, we still live. live. Have they forgotten their own words? Give us your poor, your tired, huddled masses yearning to breathe free. We, we still, still live. live. Until the ancestors welcome us home again. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Make some noise for Miss Yoka Ben Ogabai, please. 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 <laughs>